We're talking preaching gestures again, and in the last podcast, in episode 49, we talked about the origin of your preaching gestures and why you use them. With all the gestures that you've used, Pastor John, have you ever caught a glimpse of yourself preaching on video and thought to yourself, that was pretty good? I've seen some and thought, that's pretty silly. (laughs) 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 Uh, My... um no, I, I don't think I responded that way. I, I, I rarely think um, that I've done a stupid one. Like like if, uh, you said, just as it is in heaven, and your hand goes straight to the floor. You know, or, <laughs> it's just the opposite of what you mean. I, and I, I, there's a, somebody asked me one time, do you have any favorite, you have any favorite uh, gestures? And I thought, I don't, I don't think so. I don't. That would favorite implies like you've got a repertoire, <laughs> and you pull you pull them out according to your favoriteness. I don't, but I think what they mean. I mean, if they mean, um, are there ones you fall back on more than others? Well, I must because when people imitate me, they do particular ones. You know, I've seen I've seen people do joke reenactments of John Piper. I've just. We had my whole family sitting on a pew one time at my 20th anniversary, and Steve Whitmer did an imitation of John Piper in the pulpit for five minutes. He had on the right glasses, the right coat, his hair combed a certain way, and that congregation, including my four sons, have never laughed so hard in all their life. I mean, my sons were falling off the bench with, with laughter, all because he spotted characteristic moves. I mean, he pulled his handkerchief out of his pocket and rubbed his nose back and forth like I did more than I <laughs> more than I do now because now I'm so self-conscious of it. But I must, you know, and, and the ones that I'm most aware of, I feel happy about because I think they, they go hand in hand with the definition of preaching that I have. Preaching to me is expository exaltation. Expository means I'm explaining things. I want to make them clear. And so my hands are trying to do in the air what I'm saying with my mouth. And exaltation means I'm trying to get hearts up to God. So my hands are going up a lot. They're going up a lot. As I look at myself, they're up and they're out. They're up and they're out. And, And that's exactly what I want to say. I want to say, go to God, go out. Go to God, go out. My hands are doing it right now, even as I say it. So, so what do you think about people who enjoy the entertainment that some of your gestures bring? I mean, does that bother you? It, it doesn't bother me, it, it, provided, I mean, every time I hear something done with my voice or something done with my words, I put the best face on it, which is, this is being driven not by ugly mockery, this is being driven by affection. And and if that's the way it is, I feel honored by it. Um, I I wouldn't want it to distract people. You know, if that, that it, for example, sometimes people make a joke. I'm not even going to tell you an example because as soon as I do it, I, I contradict what I'm saying. They make a joke out of a phrase in a hymn that sounds like something else. You know, it might sound like a donut or something. And as soon as you say it, every time you sing that hymn now, you think of a donut. It ruined it. And so I, I'm. I don't want people to um, be so fascinated with John Piper's arms or whatever that that now that's all they think about, because that would really, really get in the way. I would say one other thing about about, uh, gestures, just that it seems to me that the Christian life should be a life of energy, and that in a world of sin and opposition, and the the call for endurance, to be um, a stock, still, sedentary, unmoving person, it it doesn't communicate the kind of life we're called to live in this culture. You know, we we should be a people of of movement, and a people of energy, and a people of of thrust, and penetration, uh, light, and salt, and, and, and doing in the world what the world needs done. And, and so it just seems to me that an, an energetic uh, portrayal of the Word of God fits what the Christian life is. 
Thank you, Pastor John. Well, we've covered gestures, but if you have other preaching questions, please email them to us at askpastorjohn at desiringgod.org. You can find thousands of other free resources online from John Piper at desiringgod.org. I'm your host, Tony Ranke. Thanks for listening.